Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound backstage at Slam Dunk Festival 2021. And Lucas stopped by from tonight's headliners. Don Broco, Rob's here with me. How are you, man? Ooh, yeah, good. <laughs> it's a good start for today. Doing good, man. Doing good. Well, it's been a nice big week for you ahead of this festival, obviously, because uh, nice little secret sets, or not so secret sets, I suppose, at Reading and Leeds, given the reaction. Yeah. Uh, nice, nice to get back on those Amazing. stages, I'm sure. Yeah, so good. Um, yeah, I think like Ready and Leeds as well. They're so special for us. Oh, yeah. But like, it's so nice being able to do a secret one where there's yeah. no pressure, <laughs> especially like your first show back, where yeah. we're thinking like you can have a few practices. It all just crumbles as soon as you get on the stage. So having like the pressure off a little bit, but still like you know a ram ten yeah. to like you know finally get, like give us that that thing that drives us to be in a band which is playing in front of crowds amazing and getting us set up for slam dunk is like it's the best best kind of easy and i think you can get oh ready to go absolutely i mean i mean this is something i've kind of been asking everybody today because it seems to be a common theme where because we've all had this big old time off getting back in those rehearsals it does take a minute to blow those cobwebs away right how was it for you boys actually getting back in there we we were like we are terrible band (laughs) as soon as we we jumped in i mean we're not the sort of guys who like practice for fun right sure we okay. don't like we obviously just threw, threw ourselves into writing after the writing was done you know we were like okay we've got a, a, a few months to chill yeah. um, and before you know it it's like okay Sandung's around the corner Reading and Leeds all these things and, and getting to grips with singing again as well for me I was like I just can't sing like my range has just like gone like so much lower because I getting back into practice yeah, of so course like, trying to practice again just getting getting yeah in the flow of it um yeah it took a few weeks but i think we're just about there just in time back there hey t- yeah team target just in time so let's see um and again like i say big week that live stream show finally now that was very very cool talk to me about your approach because i just love how every single band has approached these live streams in very radically different ways and really approaching towards their audience tell me about where your kind of starting points were i mean at. originally we weren't going to do a live stream because right. we were just thinking it's not the same as playing a real show um we were so like album focused as well we're like when we're gonna have the time to get one set up and it kind of literally dawned on us like two weeks ago like it was a real last minute thing where we were like we're gonna be getting ready for slam dunk we're gonna have all our lights with us anyway Ah, why don't we just like set this up and everyone who obviously can't be at slam dunk all our fans you know around the world let's you know we don't know when we're next gonna get over to them hopefully you know, we're thinking like springtime should be the time we yeah. can get out to the rest of the world. But for anyone not in the UK, there's no way of seeing us. Let's let's do something for them. Yeah, no, really, really nice to see you guys do that. And speaking of the album, it's kind of imminent. It's coming up. It's creeping up on us. Um, what's it been like actually finally getting these new songs on their feet and ready to finally play? I guess you w- will have got to play some of them for the yeah. first time as well. Yeah, now, so the yeah, first time was Reading and Leeds and it was just amazing. Like, you know, um, you can only like enjoy like a few Instagram comments for so long before right, sure. before you're like, well, does anyone even like these new songs? Yeah. You know, but seeing them live and get seeing the reaction and people, you know, shouting along to them, that is what makes it all worthwhile. So yeah. that was incredible. Yeah, a heart on online is one thing, but an actual pit is a whole yeah, other thing, totally. right? Yeah, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, I've got a bone to pick with you, Rob, because I know you fooled a lot of people, including the man behind the camera who will remain nameless. Uh, we really thought you were going to be boxing. We really <laughs> thought there was going to be a big old boxing match, man. How many did you I, fool any people in your own life? Did you uh, get any that, texts I had a lot. Day? I had a few texts. Like, it, it really kind of let me figure out who like likes me and who wanted <laughs> to see me dead because right. I got a few messages from people who from people who bought it being like dude think about what you're doing you know I, I see you've been in the gym but like are you, you ready g- for this are you ready like really and then some people were like yeah mate good luck you're gonna sm- you're gonna kill him yeah well done I was like wow like if people thought I would put myself in that situation they must think I'm mental I mean I did kind of like eke that out as my persona online for a while like a lot of bravado <laughs> You Um, led them on. You did lead them on. So I did lead them on, but I didn't think I'd lead them on. I didn't think I'd do that well. I didn't think I'd convince as many people. No, it was impressive. It was impressive. Even down to like the press conferences and everything. I was like, yeah, this is this feels legit. This is. I mean, I tricked I tricked Mark behind the camera. You tricked Mark behind the camera. Sorry, Mark. Sorry to shout you out. That was because we had just this amazing like team of people who were just so on board. Yeah, it it. wasn't. No, you went in, which was nice. We had like all the the boxing community and like you know like Dave Allen and Kevin, like my manager. (laughs) They were so good. They were way better at like acting and lying yeah, to yeah, camera yeah, yeah. than I, 
I kept cracking up and just making mistakes. They were just so deadpan, yeah. like nailed it. Um, and I think that that helped tie it all together and people think, okay, he's actually gonna go through with this. Oh, it's so fun. It was just, just such fun right there. I really, really enjoyed seeing it. Uh, last thing I'll leave it with before I let you go get ready, man. Uh, we did here, and I will say this is gonna go out once it's happened. Just been chatting to the Water Parks boys, obviously. We hear there's some nice little cameos in this there's set tonight. There's a few cameos tonight. That's I mean, exciting. this is going out after the show. This anyway. will go out after the show so we can talk so, about yeah, it. So, we yeah, want, we wanted to do something special for action because this, like, Reading, again, Reading and Leeds was the first time we actually played action. Wow, God, of so, course, like, it's been that long. You know, it's been out wow. two years, like, just before yeah. everything went to shit, but we never actually got to play it in the UK. And, um, yeah, as a lot of the bands who are featured on aren't here at Slam Dunk, originally Dance Game Dance were going to be playing. Yeah. So, we, so Tillian could have jumped on, but I was like, Austin, you about? Um, and so he's gonna he's gonna jump on, and Lars from While She Sleeps okay. is gonna take Caleb's part. So I'm stoked. Like we haven't practiced it yet. It could go really badly, but <laughs> either just, way, it's gonna be a moment. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a moment. It's gonna be very, very exciting to see you up there. Uh, we'll let you go. Get ready. Have a great show tonight. We look forward to seeing you on that headline tour. Thank you. Here as well. Cheers, All right. man. Good to see you, Rob. Everybody.